Hey guys, it's Ava, and today I'm going to be doing an aerial tutorial. Um, I don't know, not, I know some people on my Instagram is like, how do you do an aerial? I don't know how to do it. So, that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't know, I'm gonna try filming a voice, um, over thing, so, um, I don't know how good that's gonna be, so I'm sorry, um, I really don't know. And, um, yeah, let's get started. Sorry for any background noise. I don't know, really, you know, this is my first time ever doing this. So, basically, I'm just stretching out so I don't get any, like, pulled muscles or anything, you know. I don't get too sore, and I don't want to sprain anything or break anything. So, yeah, basically just doing that. And I do some really weird, I rapidly <laughs> swing my arms, and it is hilarious. But, yeah, I'm just, you know rolling out and trying to do so nice and then I do like handstands and back handsprings and cartwheels just to make sure you know I'm stretched out first before I do anything or I show you how to do an aerial. And so basically what you're going to need is either like a pillow or something to do it off of. I have my beam and a pillow and you maybe if you were, getting, were to use a pillow not to use one that was so you know, not thin, not thin, not thin like mine, and and you want a cartwheel, a one-handed cartwheel, a dive cartwheel, and whatever you know, cartwheels galore. And I did a handstand, so yeah, good for me. Um, for attempting your like tried doing stuff off of what you're doing it off of my beam, for example. I just tried doing stuff off of the beam, and. You really don't want your beam, like, whatever to move or slip because that will be hard. And just keep attempting it until you can try getting your arms completely off the ground. And then try attempting it on ground. Um, so I'm just trying to do some on ground for you. And, yeah, I'm just doing one-handed. And then you can finally, after practicing forever and ever, practicing forever and ever, you know, get it. And then there's a random back here. But, yeah, and drinking water is very important, very important, let me tell you. And the leap to your aerial is very important. Pushing off the ground is very important. So, yeah, I slow it down for you so you can see me. And this trying to pick it up. But so you can see me um, doing the skill. My work's going off, and it's not even for the July anymore. Um, there's me trying to do back tucks, and let me tell you, they don't really end up well. I see funny. I see funny. really hard and I'm just I'm sweating and I dehydrated and well I have water but and just I'm trying my best you know my arm muscles aren't really great at all you know I'm not <sighs> I don't know where to put this I am kind of a gymnast because I do gymnastics and when you do gymnastics you're a gymnast so you know I guess I am a gymnast but I'm a self-taught gymnast um, so I think I'm going to go to open gymnastics at my Y like I always do. And I guess I'm just going to keep practicing, even though I don't really, even though I don't really get help from them. They kind of watch me and they're just like, she's really bad. That's because I'm self-taught and you know what? I'm not going to be good at what everyone else does, you know, because I'm self-taught and you know, I didn't have anyone helping me at all. And I don't know what's right or what's wrong because I am self-taught and there's no one there to tell me how to do it or show me how to do it. So I'm just kind of here alone on this one. But um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next week. Bye.